One of the best examples of seeing Taiwan's flag being banned, almost live, is 2021's AIDA Free Diving World Championships. Day 7 of the championships started with a CWT women's event. The ranking looked like this. Keep an eye on Taiwan's contestants Ho Yiming. By the end of the event, Ho Yiming had risen to the first place. But what's shocking isn't that. What's shocking is a tiny flag next to her name has literally become an image not found icon. By the start of day 8, there were simply no icons for any athletes competing for Taiwan. In case the organizing team couldn't find it, the YouTube live chat found it for them. By day 9, more flags went missing, this time out of solidarity. Many contestants requested their flags be removed to show their support for Taiwan. This is not an isolated incident. This type of flag removal has been happening for decades. This is a video from 2006. One of the scariest events happened in 2016 when a Taiwanese K-pop singer was forced to apologize for holding the Taiwan flag in a TV show. Let's talk about this flag. Oh wait, what? This came from the United Nations. You violated the One China policy. In a nutshell, this is exactly the reason why this flag can't be flown. The One China policy. The Republic of China government, or ROC, was founded in 1911 by the Chinese Nationalist Party. In 1927, the Chinese Civil War began between the ruling Chinese Nationalist Party and the uprising Chinese Communist Party. In the middle, they paused while fighting the Japanese Empire during World War II, but resumed fighting and eventually, in 1949, the Chinese Nationalist Party was forced to retreat. Where to? The island of Taiwan, that was just placed under the control of the Chinese Nationalist Party's leader, Chiang Kai-shek. The Chinese Communist Party formed the People's Republic of China, or PRC, and took control of what is now commonly considered China. But remember World War II? That gave birth to the United Nations, in which the Republic of China was a founding member, which meant a permanent seat. Under the One China policy, it was deemed that there is and will only be one representative from China, ROC. PRC didn't get a seat at the United Nations until they slowly got recognition from majority of the members in the United Nations and ousted ROC representatives. Fun fact though, ROC representatives technically didn't get kicked out, but rather did a mic drop, we quit. The delegation of Republic of China has now decided not to take part to any further proceedings of this General Assembly. Because the PRC China's permanent seat in the Security Council, the UN, and all the organizations under it are essentially forbidden from recognizing Taiwan or ROC as an entity. This has led to awkward situations such as World Health Organization officials literally going offline upon hearing Taiwan. I'm actually curious on talking about Taiwan as well, on Taiwan's case. In an international competition like the Olympics, Taiwan must compete under this flag. This diplomatic tiptoeing causes many awkward and ironic situations. I said the most ironic time would be when Taiwan hosts international competitions, like the 2017 University Ad, also known as the Olympics for college students. Taiwanese athletes can't even carry their own flag despite being the host. Imagine if America had to compete under an English DC flag. So there you have it. That is why you don't see Taiwan's flag in international competitions. This is not Taiwan flag. Please consider this very carefully. This flag has been imported in 1949 by the ROC, which is China. I'm confused now. What is the Taiwanese flag? So yeah, on top of all the UN controversy, this flag issue is also a sensitive topic within Taiwan. Remember the whole Republic of China was founded in China bit? This flag is technically the Republic of China flag, which means it represented mainland China for decades. When the government retreated to Taiwan, society was entirely uprooted for the local people. Countless Taiwanese were killed and traditional languages were banned. To the Taiwanese who have been in Taiwan before the ROC government took power, this flag symbolized oppression. In the end, a flag is a symbol, a representation. A similar debate came to the forefront of US politics 
when Colin Kaepernick refused to stand for the national flag and anthem as a protest. He stated that the flag symbolized the oppression of the black community. However, to others, the Star Spangled Banner also represented the U.S. troops that defend the nation. In response, Kaepernick changed to taking a knee to show his respect while still voicing his protests. A nation's flag represents the good and the bad of a nation's history. There will always be somewhat of a debate when it comes to the discussion of what Taiwan's flag should be domestically. But in the international community, this flag of the white sun and the blue sky over a field of red represents Taiwan. If you're wondering about the 2022 AIDA Championships, Taiwan was changed to Taipei and its flag was replaced by the logo of the event.